There is no question as to who killed Ned Alday, his brother, his three sons, and a daughter-in-law in their Seminole County trailer in May of 1973. Carl Isaacs, Wayne Coleman, and George Dungy were convicted, primarily because of the testimony of Isaacs' younger brother, Billy, who was there. But ever since, attorneys for the three have said the trials should have never been held in Donaldsonville, that it was impossible to get fair trials. The Georgia Supreme Court has rejected that argument, and in the case of Wayne Coleman, so has a district judge. But the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals says Coleman's request for a new trial away from Seminole County deserves a district court hearing. Coleman bases his case on pretrial publicity. He will have to prove that one or more jurors had an opinion on the case before hearing the evidence, that pretrial publicity was prejudicial and inflammatory, and that the publicity saturated the community where the trials were held, that being Seminole County. Talk of the trials being unfair does not sit well in Seminole County, especially in the Alday family. But Alday asked that we not photograph him during our interview. I feel like that whenever a crime is committed, for example, like Seminole County, and they get a fair trial and everything like these boys did, it ought to be carried out. The county ought to have to say so, not some judge sitting up in Atlanta or Washington or somewhere. In a separate ruling, the appeals court considered the cases of Carl Isaacs and George Dungy and ordered the state to show cause why they should not be given the same hearing Coleman is getting. The appeals court gave the state until next Thursday to come up with a response to that. It will come from the attorney general's office. Meantime, the appeals court gave the circuit court 60 days to listen to the arguments and decide whether or not Wayne Coleman deserves a new trial away from Seminole County. Ernie Johnson, WSB News.